I often see people asking how long they should hold on to their images for. Oh, should I delete them after a year? And they often will refer to the terms of their contracts with their clients. You should never delete your images. Just never. This is your body of work. This is your archive. You should hold on to your work. Your work defines who you are. If you look at photographers who have since passed on, who uh, have had a significant impact on the world of photography, you will often see that there is a foundation in their name, and that foundation holds on to the copyright of that photographer's work. This is something that you should consider for yourself, not necessarily establishing a foundation, but think about the fact this is your body of work. I would never hear an architect say, at what point should I demolish all of my older buildings? You built that thing. You 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 captured that image. You took that photo. You should you should hang on to it. But there are more significant and important reasons why you should never delete your images. And the primary one for me is that who I was as a photographer 10 years ago is not at all the photographer that I am today. I am 10 years uh, better, more experienced. I have uh, a better sense of who I am as a photographer. And the photographer that I was 10 years ago doesn't exist anymore. I, I still respect that photographer from 10 years ago, but that's not who I am. I'm more mature in my taste. My taste has changed. It has evolved. But also, if I look back over my work from 10 years ago, it's much more technical. It's not as uh, emotion driven. It's not as expression driven. It's very much driven about, did I get the lighting right? Did I place the light in the right place? Was it at the right angle? And when you start out as a photographer, it's important to think about all these things. It's important to workshop your way through them and then to get to a point where that stuff doesn't matter as much unless it's significant to defining your style of photography, who will you, who you are as a photographer. There are images from a shoot that I did a number of years ago with my friend Sheila that when I did them, completely disregarded them. I, I never deleted them, thankfully, but when I went and looked back, when I was updating my portfolio uh, about a year and a half ago, I was like, that image, this image is so captivating and striking to me. It's so interesting to me as a photographer that it um, became a primary image in my portfolio. But when I took that image, it was like, ah, oh, this is, this isn't working. This isn't good. It's not a good image. And, uh, just, let's just, uh, forget about it. But now it means something to me. Now it's interesting. Now I would print it out and frame it and put it on a wall. That's how much I think that photo is great. But the photographer I was when I took that image would not see the value of that work. Regular viewers of this channel will know that I recently had my first solo exhibit as a, as a photographic artist. And that was all consisted of archival work. And the majority of those images were images that when I went back through were not images that I had originally selected. They were images that I thought, you know, probably at like at the time were probably not worth even considering. But now, when I was putting that collection together, they spoke exactly to the theme of the collection, and they were exactly what I wanted. You know, it's not too long ago when uh, all, all photography was done on film, and you had negatives in sheets, in, in plastic sheets, that would go into three-ring binders, or, or they would go into file folders, and you would store them in filing cabinets, and you would hold on to all of your negatives. Some photographers have rooms of filing cabinets full of negatives. They don't delete their archives. They didn't just throw out all of their negatives and go, oh, I'm done with this shoot, I'm never going to need these negatives again. They held on to them because those negatives have value. Your images have value, whether they're film or whether they're digital. The fact that they're digital now is so much greater for us as photographers because storage is abundant and inexpensive. I have 12 years of images stored on this computer back here on a hard drive inside that computer. Hundreds of thousands of images. And I would never consider not having backups of those and, and, and making sure that all of my images were safe because that is what is valuable to me. As photographers, we carry a special kind of burden. If you've been doing this for a few years, you probably will have experienced clients coming to you and saying, we just lost someone. Do you have an image of my grandpa at the wedding? Do you have an image of my son who passed away in a car accident? The image that you take of someone, it might be the image that's used 
at their memorial. It might be the image that is used uh, with their obituary in a newspaper. So we have this special burden that we carry with us to create images that people will want to use to remember people by. When a celebrity passes away, often you'll see magazines on the shelves, an entire magazine devoted to that celebrity that's just full of images of that celebrity. So that's why I say that we have a special kind of burden as photographers to respect the people that we photograph. So don't delete your images. And if you want to know how to keep your images safe forever, watch this video right here. Like this video if you found it helpful and consider subscribing to this channel to see more videos from me. Thank you very much. Take care.